We have a guest today. She's one of those persons that joins groups that watch out for people. They don't get rich from it. In fact, they're usually called bad names because they do it. But she cares about all persons who are treated unjustly, and so does the group she's here from. She's here to tell us a, a certain concern that we could get involved in very quickly. This is Julia Henshaw. Thanks very much. I wanted to also thank the congregation for just a few minutes of your time. I'm just going to take a moment. Um, I come here from Freedom Michigan campaign. Um, and what we are trying to do is ensure that people who are gay are not fired from the workplace based only on their sexual orientation and identity. Um, many people are surprised to real realize that today in Michigan, one can be fired for this reason. And so folks who are gay have no protections um, in this instance. So um, what we're trying to do is during this lame duck session, and we only have a week left, <laughs> Um, we're trying to reach out to, tar we've targeted a few legislators in the area, um, and we're really trying to reach out to them with our message and hope that in the upcoming vote next week that they will vote to ensure the protections for these folks are in place um, so that moving forward nobody, nobody has to worry about being fired for their sexual orientation or based on something that has nothing to do with their work performance. So to that end, I'm here to ask that if you would join our campaign, we're simply asking that you fill out this postcard um, and we will send it to your legislator. Many folks in the church may not be from this area. If you're not from this area, we'll send it to whichever le legislator is your legislator. Um, and just let them know that we don't want this to happen. We want protections for these folks. Um, no hardworking American should have to worry about losing their job for reasons that have nothing to do with their work performance. Um, other ways to become involved include the postcards, which I commented on. Also, um, I'm asking if you would commit to calling or speaking with your legislator or emailing or somehow getting in touch with them and putting in your own words your concerns about this and let them know. Please, on Tuesday or Wednesday or Thursday, if it gets moved, <laughs> please vote and make sure that these folks are protected. Um, also, we have phone call opportunities on Wednesday and, and or Monday and Wednesday evenings, so if you'd like to be involved in that, just let me know. I'll be in the back afterwards. And then I'm also looking for someone who knows somebody who might be a transgender person who is willing to speak out and speak with a legislator. So if you know of anybody, if you are or know of anybody who's transgender, transgendered and would like to speak about it, um, please let me know that as well. Thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Am I right in thinking that what the, the real issue before the legislators is, it's quite straightforward and actually quite simple. Michigan already has laws on the books to protect people in many different ways, you know, from uh, housing discrimination, from job discrimination, because, for instance, of the color of their skin or their gender and things like that. All the legislators have to do is add this protection to the already existing laws. Because, uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that in Michigan, you can also be thrown out of your housing because yep. you happen to like somebody of the same gender. Yes. Now, if I hope that you realize that we're part of a denomination that is open and affirming, and beginning in February of next year, we're going to be going through the process of declaring ourselves as a local church to be that. But still, you don't have to be that to know that that's just plain wrong. So I encourage you to see Julia afterwards. She'll be out there by a table where you can actually write down on these uh, postcards things and, and support this straightforward, simple thing about justice. Okay, is that right? Thank you very much. Thank you, Julia. Thank you. 